We currently have the major Hollywood movie production of Bad Boys for Life in town. That is also known as Bad Boys 3. And that is, of course, the sequel to the movie from 2005, 2006, Bad Boys 2, starring Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. Will Smith is a very inspiring actor, I thought. I really liked The Pursuit of Happiness. And I know Martin Lawrence, not actually from Bad Boys 1 or 2. I know him from the TV sitcom streaming on Netflix now, actually, partners with Kelsey Grammer. And so I really liked his performance there. So I was cycling up Ocean Drive together with Julia. We've just successfully filed our tax return for 2018 thanks to the wonderful QuickBooks self-employed and into its uh, other application which is called TurboTax and those are those are great those are really funky little tools and I'm looking forward to doing my next tax return already whoops I've just uh, taken a wrong turn here I do apologize so we were um, going up Ocean Drive maybe I can sneak through here so we were going up Ocean Drive earlier and uh, we've noticed that there's a lot of stuff happening and usually when that happens it's not so much uh, for or anything major like a like a, a movie that they're shooting but uh, more something like you know the south beach food festival and whatever other trade show there's something like art basel and something like that happens every month or so so we weren't actually that surprised but uh, if you look at this there's a, there's a lot of stuff piled up here we didn't quite know what it was at first and then we just uh, kept driving and then we remembered that a little while ago we discussed that uh, there is in fact this movie production in town and the first thing you'll notice is that a, a sponsor has already slapped their name on the fence so that's exciting that's exciting to begin with and uh, so when that happens that's usually a cause of major disruption for life in a small town like Miami Beach and of course it was so they were uh, cordoning off that uh, that big uh, one of the major access routes onto Miami Beach uh, which was of course MacArthur Causeway and so here's some of the equipment that they're using it's a bit of a electric power generator here this thing is interesting that's called a cherry picker and you can see all these lots of cables there and a cherry picker we're going to see another one in a moment uh, some more gels here at the and then lots of power cables uh, on the side here gels are these things that you put in front of the light and we're going to see lots of lights in a minute as well so uh, that's to color uh, to change a light into a certain color so uh, the the thing that happened was we uh, we cycled along and we just saw more and more equipment. This is one of them. So this is a baby spot, I believe. There's a couple of them. And I believe they're going to use that to illuminate this road here. This is a kind of a cordoned off, pedestrianized thing. It's, uh, it's just on Ocean Drive. So the ocean is literally that way. This is kind of a basketball field here. It's also very nice. There's a lot of uh, players usually happening here and more lights. So um, yeah, that's, that's happening here all the time. But these lights and all these power cables there of course very new <coughs> excuse me I still can't shake this cough I don't know what's going on so anyway this 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 all happened and then we realized oh my god there's a big crew here and I believe they're gonna shoot a scene later on today uh, this is another cherry picker here which we can see some cables on the floor and this thing is I guess a power box or something very interesting so uh, rumor has it and I don't know if this is true this is just from the Twitter universe rumor has it that the city of Miami Beach is gonna get about 10 million dollars for them letting them shoot the movie here and uh, this is our answer to Muscle Beach by the way this is where lots of people are working out and this is again this is here all the time this is not something that's that's just here for the for the movie production none of these people have signed a media release by the way just wanted to let you know that uh, so anyway the um, what was I gonna say oh yes yeah, so what we found out from a tour guide a few years ago and when we did a pirate tour here through the waters of Miami Beach and, and Miami is that when they shot Bad Boys 2 the movie they had to they had, they shot this this um, scene like a car chase scene here on MacArthur Causeway which is the, the southernmost access point to the beach and it's a major road that's clogged on a good day and of course when there's a movie production in town it's even it's even worse than that so what happened then is that they overran they had worked out some kind of budget and they of course they overran like it happens in movie productions and people just don't get done on time and they needed an extra day for the whole bridge to be closed off and that's of course uh, cause for major concern uh, for for everyone who needs to go across 
close to the beach because the nearest access road is about 40 blocks north and uh, another one is slightly closer but you have to pay it's like a toll that you have to pay so um, they worked out a deal that they just uh, gave the city of Miami Beach about two million dollars to leave that bridge closed for another day and again this is all hearsay I don't know how true this is uh, it's one of those things. So this time they're getting 10 million. That's the agreed budget. They've sh started shooting in January uh, this year in Atlanta, I believe, and they've already done a few scenes in and around Miami. So these are more trucks, as you can see here. So it's um, kind of interesting. I don't know how much crew they need, but it does take me quite a while to cycle past this. It's like five or six minutes just cycling past this, just to get past these equipment trucks. And so what we were thinking earlier is that it's a little bit like bringing Hollywood into town and of course that's all very exciting so there's a lot of extras that have been hired for this production as well and one of the areas that we're going to pass now is the is the catering department which is large you know and lots of people are getting their dinner already it smells very nice don't know what's happening perhaps uh, maybe with some some barbecue don't know but there's there's a uh, room here for a lot of people to sit and this is just for so many extras that have been cast to be part of that uh, production so I'm not part of it I'm, I'm I'm not an extra here but I live only five blocks away from here so I thought you know I'll give you a tour through my neighborhood and through Ocean Drive and let you in on hey this is what's currently happening so uh, if they're gonna be done on time I don't know the movie's gonna come out in 2020 I believe January 2020 is currently what they were thinking of when they're gonna release it if they're gonna get it done on budget and on time is anybody's guess but hey hang on this is um, my real news is I found my tax return and we went to Starbucks to have a drink to celebrate and on that occasion we found hey they're shooting a movie in our neighborhood and uh, the, partly the reason why this is connecting to me is because I've seen the pursuit of happiness and in it Will Smith plays this very inspiring character who stands in front of a financial firm and waits for waits for his opportunity to have a chat with the big boss who could potentially get him a job and eventually he sneaks into his car and solves the Rubik's Cube for him and that's partly the reason why the guy hires him so the Rubik's Cube that's very dear to me and I, I always connect with people who manage to solve that thing because for me for many years it wasn't possible to solve it and I'm bringing this up because in my book Broken Bowels Tales of a Super Survivor I'm making the point that for years I believed that it I just couldn't solve the Rubik's Cube and then many years later I was able to do it and that kind of changed my thinking into acknowledging that even though I don't know a solution that doesn't mean there isn't one that doesn't mean a solution doesn't exist and that I find is the inspiring bit and that leads me to Will Smith and so hence I was very happy to see the production being in town so it doesn't disrupt me uh, a couple of weeks ago when they shot that uh, uh, when they closed the MacArthur Causeway it did not disrupt my going to work but we were discussing it among colleagues and that is how I found out about it I don't watch TV I don't read the news so it's always a surprise when when I find these things out and look at that five blocks away from where I live that's where they're shooting and I thought I wanted to share that with you look at that they've closed the whole road that's where some major action scene is going to happen later maybe 